you know, when you're the best, the sheep, they start to follow you. That's what's happening right here. Make no mistake, Tesla is the best and BMW, who are the sheep, are following in their wake. Is that actually a good move? Well, I have my serious reservations on this one. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Now, I think we've created about 1,800 videos over the past 12 months. If you're new to the channel, there's a lot of content there for you to learn about what's really going on in the electric vehicle industry, what my predictions are for the next 10 years, which automakers will still be around, and the battery chemistry of the future. Is it what BMW is using right now? 100% no. It's a fact. It is a, if you don't, okay. It's not a fact, but I'm going to say it's a fact because I think it's pretty damn obvious to anyone with half a brain that, um, yeah, this battery chemistry in these new BMW vehicles is really only the battery chemistry of maybe like a very small niche number of vehicles. Now, my predictions for the battery chemistry of the future, what the future market will be made up of within five years time. I'll give you those at the end of this video. You can say whether or not you think I'm crazy or mental, but do remember I have made more than 50 videos about energy density, about battery chemistry. I've spent more time than probably any of you researching battery chemistry. So before you mock me, do some Google research on what I'm talking about before you send me emails telling me I'm wrong or, or, or you read an email on, you know, Bloomberg wrote an email and Blo Bloomberg wrote a, a, made a video about it and so therefore I'm wrong. Do some research on what I say first and after you've done that, then you can mock me. Then you can say whatever you want, whatever you think, that's fine. Tesla's use of cylindrical batteries is inspiring other automakers. Now, I've got my reservations about that. I don't think Tesla cylindrical batteries will make up, up a large percentage of their vehicles within five years time. I think less than probably 30%. Anyway, as per recent reports, German luxury car maker BMW will be supplied with Tesla-like cylindrical batteries for its EVs in Europe. China's EVE Energy Company Limited will reportedly be BMW's supplier. BMW has so far been using prismatic cells for its EVs according to Teslarati. But while prismatic cells are practical in the way they can be densely packed due to their shape, cylindrical batteries have made a lot of headway in the past few years. A lot of this likely has to do with the success of Tesla, whose vehicles have dominated the EV market while being powered by cylindrical cells. Personally, I think BMW would be better off continuing with the batteries they're currently using, or one step better, recognizing that those are not the batteries of the future, um, for the most part and moving to what actually is the battery chemistry of the future, which BMW, I don't think have any idea what that is, but anyhow. Citing sources familiar with BMW's battery strategy, Reuters reported that Eve has signed contracts to be the German car maker's battery supply in Europe for new EVs that are expected to hit the market from 2025. The publication sources added that BMW follows Tesla in adopting new technologies. Well, if that were the case, then BMW would have announced that they're going to use the M3P battery chemistry in their vehicles from, well, the end of this year or the start of next year, because that, my friends, is really the battery chemistry that will be in the majority of Tesla cars worldwide. We're talking at least 70%, in my view. It'll be those or BYD blade batteries, which will probably make up about 10%. 4680s will probably make up about 20%. So that is, in my opinion, what BMW should be looking at. I think they're getting distracted by Shiny. Reuters sources also hinted that Eve's batteries will be supplied to BMW and likely be similar in size to Tesla's next generation 4680 cells. And this makes me wonder, right? Did Eve manufacture these battery cells hoping they'd get a supply contract from Tesla? It's possible. I don't know. If anyone has any inside knowledge on this, please feel free to get in contact with me and let me know. In my view, this is possible considering that E's filings have revealed that the battery maker is currently planning on building a large cylindrical battery plant in central China. 
Both BMW and Eve have said nothing so far. We don't know if this is true. This is a rumor. But generally, when we hear rumors, right, when they're false, companies will say straight away. They'll say straight away, that's false, that's not true. So the fact they've both stayed silent would suggest it's very likely there is truth to this report. How much truth, I don't know. But clearly, BMW would have said, no, it's not happening. If it was false. When Tesla unveiled its 4680 cells, they made a point to note that the larger cylindrical cells can pave the way for improvements in range, performance, and production costs. Eve and BMW may be looking at similar advantages if they are indeed looking to roll out large cylindrical batteries for the automaker's next generation of EVs. Now, right now, Eve doesn't have a very big market share when it comes to batteries. It's a couple of percent, actually less than 2%. And the truth is they're actually one of a number of companies trying to make cylindrical batteries, in particular, trying to target Tesla for cylindrical battery production. CATL, which are the world's largest battery company and Tesla's biggest battery supplier, are putting a lot of effort into producing cylindrical batteries. Longtime Tesla partner Panasonic is also poised to build a new battery production facility in Kansas, which will produce 4680 cells for Tesla manufactured in Gigafactory, Texas. Plus, Samsung SDI have also produced pilot battery plants in the hope that they'll get a big supply contract from Tesla as well. To me, all of this is pretty much a waste of time, in my honest opinion. Why? Tesla wants to produce 4680 battery cells themselves. I do believe they'll get some 4680 cells from these other companies, but it won't be significant enough to offset the cost of these companies manufacturing these big production lines and coming up with all the staff and training the staff and fitting out these facilities to actually justify the return they'll get back from them. Why do I say that? Well, to me, it's very clear. The M3P battery is the battery chemistry that will go into the majority of the Tesla's vehicles. So yes, sure, these battery companies will get some supply from Tesla for, for these 4680 type battery cells. Just the same with BMW, right? They'll get some supply for these cylindrical cells from Eve Energy. But the truth is, the battery chemistry of the future is not ternary batteries anyway. It's LFP batteries. Clearly, there's a number of companies, including CATL, Goshan High Tech, and other companies who've achieved energy density around 230 watts per kilo, which is similar to ternary batteries anyway, LFP are safer, much safer, last much longer. Yes, there's isolated cases here and there. Don't point out isolated cases. We're talking about the general nature of battery chemistry here. And clearly, LFP are much safer, much, much safer. Clearly, on average, they last a hell of a lot longer than ternary batteries. And also, they're significantly cheaper Plus, energy density now is approaching the same, well, not much off, lithium ternary batteries. Elon Musk even said it himself when Tesla wasn't barely even using any lithium ion phosphate batteries that LFP was the chemistry of the future. 4680 cells will only go into premium Tesla vehicles. I think BMW has completely missed the point. They should have been listening to what Elon said a year ago when he said LFP is the chemistry of the future. BMW should have done what Ford did and gone, yeah, thanks Tesla, you're right. Now we will use LFP. That's what Ford has said recently. Rivian said the same thing. Mercedes, the same thing. BMW did not get the memo. Those guys are still doing what? You know what they're doing? They're spending money and time building hydrogen powered vehicles. Those Muppets have not realized sunk cost bias is going to lose them billions of dollars. They need to move on. Move on from that. Move on from whoever's designing your ugly cars. Get a designer who works for, I don't know, Volvo or the, the new Dodge EV. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Whoever makes the Hyundai Ioniq 5, Kia EV6. There's plenty of designers who can design good-looking cars. And maybe there's even some engineers out there who understand what the battery chemistry of the future is. 90%. 90% within 10 years will be LFP. The other 10% will be solid state batteries. Premium, luxury, supercars, etc. will probably have solid state batteries by 2030. We're talking eight years from now. The rest of the market will be LFP. Lithium ternary really, in my view, have a very, very small place in the market. No more than the another 10%. So we're talking 10 for solid state, 10 for ternary batteries, such as the 4680 cell and 80% LFP. That's my final number that I've thought up with while I've made this video. But honestly, if you think about it, it just makes too much sense. 
Why on earth would the average person buying the average car, which really just needs it as a utility device, want to spend significantly more money getting ternary batteries that last one third as long and much more fire prone? It doesn't make any sense at all. In particular, when you consider the massive energy improvements in energy density from LFP batteries, the future, my friends, is very obvious. And I don't think BMW got the memo. I think they've missed it. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe tomorrow they'll announce, hey, we're using LFP as well. You never know. But whatever the case may be, they are pretty far behind the eight ball because contracts are signed now. Years ago, in fact, contracts are signed for future battery allocation. I think BMW is a bit late to the party. Let me know if you agree or you disagree. Now, remember, I own a BMW, which I'm about to offload. If any of you guys want an old BMW, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.